I'll edit this later. It's going to take a while for me to cut this thing out here. Set up. I got my vice grip thing on there, and um, I'm going to start cutting. Uh, glasses, gloves. I'm going to show you what I did real quick. I'm take the glasses off. The top of the fitting is very thin. Uh, there it is, right? Oh, I got to zoom back out. There we go. There is the fitting again. Now all I did is I just cut around the base of it, and the and the top of this thing um, came loose, as you can see. Now my fingers are like all oh, my fingertips and everything of like oven mitts because I've been a mechanic for about 25 years. Um, so anyway, this thing is free. The finale piece is below here or some kind of metal. And I'm just going to twist this thing off here. All right, so it came off. And there's the O-ring, little plastic retainer. Fell on the floor right there. And there we go. The rest of it is still on there. You have the upper ring and this piece of finale garbage. I'm just going to try to take it off right now. <clears throat> I was able to wedge it apart like that and get it off. Now this piece right here is just going to come right off. Voila! All right, so now I've got two of these things cut off. I'm going to show you how to snap it in. All right, like I said before, there are two different styles. I'm really curious to see if uh, this new style, I mean the old style, if, is interchangeable. Um, but I'm not going to risk it. I'm using the stock one, and as you can see, Oh, it's not stock, it's the aftermarket. The aftermarket one has an O-ring at the bottom. All right, so I'm looking at this. I'm just going to make sure I didn't nick it all up. No, nope, I never even touched it. It's all clean. I'm just going to show you how nice and easy this thing snaps in, okay? All right, so I'm in. I'm just going to get a little, a little pull here. The other one went in much easier, I'm going to be honest. I really need my other hand. All right, using the other hand. Sorry about the camera bouncing around, but I can't seem to get this fitting on. Oh, there it goes. It just snapped right in. I just had to get the right. Um, I was probably uh, not perfectly aligned, but as you can see, it it went right in there. Um, it's not going to come out. Unless I've got the tool, or if you're going to destroy the thing like I did. So uh, anyway, I can put this back together, call my customer, and uh, get this thing out of here. So I'm pretty darn excited right now. All right, so anyway, let's carry on here. 
I'll edit the video later, like I said. Or maybe I'll just leave it really long and annoying. This is annoying people's fun. All right, so cranking this thing in here. All right, so that's cranked in. Let's get my adjustable wrench. All right, by the way, it's not a crescent. It's an adjustable wrench. Know what you're thinking. It's a crescent. No, it's the brand. All right, so it's snug. That's good enough. Line still moves around. This line still moves around a little bit, so I'm gonna make sure they're definitely all the way in. Drop the tool on the floor and make sure we don't have any leaks. I'm gonna spray this whole thing down with brake cleaner. All right, that's good enough. All right, so there's no fluid anywhere. It's all clean. I'm gonna uh, attempt to top off the transmission now uh, when the fitting is way back here, by the way, or the dipstick tube. It's underneath the vehicle, as I said before, and let's play with that now. 